Hey guys, welcome to my video series on graphing functions by hand and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to sketch the graph of log functions. Now I've made other videos showing you how to sketch hyperbolas, truncus, square roots and exponential functions and it's not a bad idea to watch those videos too as graphing functions is an important part of maths methods. The knowledge is required time after time. I'll leave a link to those videos in the description below. And just like the other videos, I'm going to spend a minute or two covering the theory and then I'll go through a couple of examples on sketching log graphs. Similar to the graph of exponential functions, log functions can also be in the form of one of four shapes. The basic log function is written as y is equal to log e of x. And its graph looks something like this. The main feature of the log function is that it has a vertical asymptote. And for the basic function, this is going to be the line x is equal to zero. The curve lies to the right of the asymptote and approaches infinity as the values of x increases and approaches the vertical asymptote as the values of x decrease. Also, it has an x-intercept at 1. If we write a negative in front of the log function, then the graph is going to look something like this. The curve lies to the right of the asymptote and approaches negative infinity as the values of x increases and approaches the asymptote as the values of x decrease. If the negative is written in front of the x and not in front of the log function, then the graph is going to look something like this. The curve is now to the left of the asymptote, and as the values of x decrease, the curve will approach infinity. And as the values of x increases, it approaches the asymptote. And for the fourth shape, if we have a negative in front of the log function and in front of the x, then its graph is going to look something like this. The curve is to the left of the asymptote, and as the values of x decrease, the curve approaches negative infinity. And as the values of x increases, then it approaches positive infinity and towards the asymptote. Now again, it's important that you remember these four shapes. A log function written in general form is written as a times log e of x minus h plus k. The value of a will dilate the graph the value of h will tell us where the vertical asymptote is and the value of k will move the graph up or down. And here are the four steps that you need to take when sketching log graphs. Pretty much the same as the other videos. The first step is to determine its shape and we do this by checking whether there's a negative in front of the log function and or in front of the x. The second step is to work out the equation of the vertical asymptote. And the third step is to find the x and y intercepts if there's going to be any. And the last step is to label and mark these features on the axes and then sketch the graph. And that's it, pretty much, for the theory. Now let's get into some examples. Sketch the graph of the following functions, marking the vertical asymptote and the intercepts. Give exact answers, otherwise round to one decimal place. Part A. f of x equals 2 log e of x on 3. Step 1. We need to determine the shape of the graph. Both the log and the x inside the brackets is positive. And so this means the shape of the graph is going to be in this form. Step 2. We need to work out the equation of the vertical asymptote. To do this, we let whatever's inside the brackets equal 0 and then solve for x. And so if we let x over 3 equal 0, multiplying both sides by 3, we're going to get x is equal to 0. And so the vertical asymptote is going to be the line x is equal to 0. Next, we need to work out the x and y intercepts. Now, because the line x is equal to 0 is the vertical asymptote, then there's not going to be any y-intercepts. And so to work out the x-intercept, we let y is equal to 0 and then solve for x. And so we're going to get 2 log e of x on 3 is equal to 0. Dividing both sides by 2, log e of x on 3 is going to equal 0. And from here, e to the 0 is going to equal x on 3. e to the 0 is going to be 1. And so multiplying both sides by 3, we're going to get x is equal to 3. And so the x-intercept is going to be 3. And for step 4, we need to label these on the axes and then sketch the graph. And so on the axes, we draw the vertical asymptote, the line x is equal to 0, marking the x-intercept, and then sketch the graph. Part B. f of x equals log e of 1 minus x. Step 1. We need to find the shape of this graph. The log is positive, but the x inside is negative, and so its shape is going to be in this form. Step 2. For the vertical asymptote, we let 1 minus x equal 0 and then solve for x, and so x is equal to 1. And so the vertical asymptote is going to be the line x is equal to 1. Next, we need to work out the x and y intercepts. 
Now, since the vertical asymptote is the line x is equal to 1, and the graph is to the left and then goes towards the left, then there will be an x and a y intercept. To work out the y intercept, we let x is equal to 0 and then solve for y. And so y is going to be log e of 1 minus 0, which is just log e of 1. And this is just equal to 0. For the x intercept, we let y is equal to 0 and then solve for x. Now we know that when y is equal to 0, x is also going to be 0. So the x intercept is going to be 0. Now using this information, we can sketch the graph. And so in drawing the axes, we label the vertical asymptote, marking the x and y intercept, and then sketch the graph. Part C. f of x equals minus log e of x plus 1 and then plus 2. Step 1. We need to determine the shape of this graph. We've got a negative in front of the log and the x is positive, and so this means the shape is going to be in this form. Step 2. We need to work out the equation of the vertical asymptote. To do this, we let whatever is inside the brackets, which is x plus 1 equals 0, and solve for x, we're going to get x is equal to minus 1. And so the vertical asymptote is going to be the line x is equal to minus 1. And now we need to work out the x and y intercepts. The vertical asymptote is the line x is equal to minus 1, and the graph goes towards the right. And so there will be an x and a y intercept. To find the y intercept, we let x is equal to 0 and solve for y. And so y is going to equal the minus log e of 0 plus 1, which is just 1, and then plus 2. Log e of 1 is 0, and so this is just 2. And so the y-intercept is 2. For the x-intercept, we let y is equal to 0, and then solve for x. And so we're going to get minus the log e of x plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 0. Moving the 2 to the right-hand side, and then dividing by a negative 1, we're going to get log e of x plus 1 is equal to 2, which means that e squared is equal to x plus 1. And so x is equal to e squared minus 1. And using your calculator, correct to one decimal place, this is equal to 6.4. And so the x-intercept is going to be 6.4. And now using this information, we can sketch the graph. And so we draw the axes, and then draw the asymptote, with the dotted line, the line x is equal to minus 1, marking the x and y intercepts, and then sketch the graph. Part D. f of x equals minus log e of 3 minus 2x, and then minus 2. And so step 1. We need to determine the shape of this graph. We have a negative in front of the log and in front of the x inside the brackets, and so its shape is going to be in this form. Step 2. We need to work out the equation of the vertical asymptote. To do this, we let 3 minus 2x equal 0 and then solve for x. And so 3 is going to equal to 2x, and so x is going to be 3 on 2, which is the same as 1 and a half. And so the vertical asymptote is going to be the line x is equal to 3 on 2. And now for the x and y intercepts, the vertical asymptote is the line x is equal to 3 on 2, and the graph goes towards the left. And so there will be a x and y intercept. For the y-intercept, we let x is equal to 0 and solve for y. And so we're going to get y is equal to minus log e of 3 minus 0, which is just going to be 3, and then minus 2. Using your calculator to work this out, this is minus 3.1, correct to one decimal place. For the x-intercept, we let y is equal to 0 and then solve for x. And so we're going to get minus the log e of 3 minus 2x, minus 2 is equal to 0. Moving the minus 2 to the right, it will be positive 2, and then dividing by negative 1, it will be negative 2. And so we're going to get log e of 3 minus 2x is equal to minus 2. From here, we're going to say e to the minus 2 is equal to 3 minus 2x. Rearranging this to get x the subject, we're going to have 2x is equal to 3 minus e to the power of minus 2. And now dividing both sides by 2, x is equal to 3 minus e to the power of minus 2 divided by 2. And using your calculator, correct to one decimal place, this is equal to 1.4. And the last step is to mark all this information on the axes and then sketch the graph. And so on the axes, we draw dashed lines for the asymptote, the line x is equal to 3 on 2, marking the x and y intercepts, and then sketch the graph. Which brings us to the end of this video. Comment below and let me know if you found this video helpful. And if you want to try exam questions testing your understanding on sketching log graphs, then I suggest you log into the Maths Methods Club. And from the main topic, select Functions and Graphs.
and then from the subtopic select logs and exponentials. And from the question type select tech free. Try out the first two questions and see how you go. Now don't forget to watch the other videos on how to sketch functions by hand. Good luck and I'll see you guys in the next video.